is I'm thinking about who would want this. Who's the market, right? And it's either like really rich kids or people who kind of uh, have decided to live a solitary life um, and, uh, you know, need something to do when they're not working kind of thing. Um, and I, I don't see... I don't see that many um, other, pe other people that would be desired. I, I tried my best to like look at this seriously. Like they've done well, like aesthetically it's, it's you know, sure. I'm, I, I, it might not be to my tastes, but it is an aesthetic and they've went with it. And, you know, there's a lot of craft and detail work, like a lot of, you know, elements that are difficult to pull off, which they, and, and moving parts, which they've like actually, put a lot of time and energy into it. Um, and so I, I think, you know, like it, it's not an easy thing to make. Um, and um, the other thing is, you know, like, like the market um, conversation, what, in which environment do you see this working in? You know? And there's only one environment, which is like a black room <laughs> with no lights. If there's like a couch next to it, if there's flat, like it doesn't work. It doesn't work with almost anything else that I know that exists in the house. It doesn't work next to a TV. It doesn't work next to a kitchen. doesn't know. It's just, this has to be the only thing in the room and it has to be dark. Right. So, <laughs> it, which for me, like, if it is, among other stuff, it's going to look messy. Um, it's, it's going to look really messy. Um, and so unless you, you don't want that, you're going, to have a, you're going to have to have a dedicated room for this, which, which is pretty cool. And um, I think potentially in the future, like so one thing I always joke about is um, professional video gamers and streamers who order food from home um, might be one of the most eco-friendly ways of living ever. <laughs> you know, so, you know, um, I do like to indulge in kind of fantasies thinking about how, you know, if we decide to say work, creating new work for the sake of people working is stupid as a society uh, and go in the direction of what actually happens if we um, don't aim for infinite progress slash productivity and everyone has to work five days, um, then, you know, I feel like a lot of people could go, you know, like in the movie up into this kind of zone where they're just living in ecstasy, enjoying custom created content, playing games that feeds into the creation of things. Um, so if you don't want to be productive with your life, you can just, you know, sit in one of these things and uh, entertain, get, be entertained, you know, by endless content, you know, like if you don't want to work, fine. Like, you know, because most work at some point is going to be more detrimental to society than, in my opinion, um, than, you know, the work um, not existing, you know. So, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a weird space. Like, I, I don't like it. I wouldn't buy one. But, you know, like, I, I have to say, like, I have to say kudos for the work that went into it. Um, and kudos for the people who, has the, who have the balls in 2020 to own this magnificent piece of, you know, art. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'd like to see, I'd like to see, um, maybe, I don't know, maybe this is the, the, the internet cafe of the future. Um, you know, you just see rows and rows of this, um, or maybe, maybe I see elite gaming academies or something and, you know, like, <laughs> you know, esports is going to be a big thing for sure. Um, uh, that's coming. It's going to be probably, um, as big as all the other sports combined, um, just because of how many people are playing games. Um, so yeah, again, um, new category of product, um, very interesting, um, very like unintentionally provocative, I think. <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, I look, I look forward to um, 
you know, I look forward to seeing one and I also, I'd also like to like sit in one. If I saw one of these, like I'm going to be like, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to sit in one and see what this is actually like. Um, oh, and lastly, um, I think this or a really comfy chair without all the, the trap, it's kind of like a trap as well, right? It's like, traps you in like locks you in it's like a death sentence you know you're like in now and it's like a whole thing to get out like you can't just you can't just get out you have to you know if the electricity shuts down you have to do like maneuvers to get out um so uh comfortable chair just a nice vr kit with surround sound um would would probably be like much more efficient at doing a similar thing um, instead of having three, three, three monitors. Um, but the problem there is, again, the interface is not, not yet as pleasurable as uh, an analog kind of um, keyboard and mouse combo that people are still using. So if we can kind of solve that kind of interface problem um, with VR, AR sets, then this would instantly become outdated in my mind, but the function of it, I mean. Yeah, I mean, of course, Hans wants to sit in one of these. You, know? you wouldn't? Come on, you would totally, you, how, could you, how could you be a designer and not, like, if this was in a show, you would sit on it. <laughs> like, yeah. even if it's not for you, you know? <laughs> but look, on a more so a serious note, um, this chair is actually not about the person using it. This chair is all about the person looking at the person using it. And it's in some ways like, you know, intimidation tactics. I don't know, like you show up to a pro, pro game in one of these and, you know, compete against someone 100% sure you're going to be distracted by this thing. Like there is no way you can be a serious competitor while, you know, just in a regular table and chair. And this guy shows up in something like this or girl shows up in something like this. You're going to be freaked out. You're going to be like, what the hell, you know? And maybe in that level of esports, you know, like a tiny advantage, you'll take it, right? Um, so it's very much for the person that is, viewing this from the outside than the actual person using it. Um, and yeah, I can also tell that I, it, to me, it's a little, little bit unreal that someone spent so much time making something so obnoxious, you know, it's not something you see every day. Like it just literally is not something that you see every day. Um, you know, and, uh, and yeah, like Hans said, like, congratulations you know, <laughs> kudos to the person that spent the time designing this and making it. Um, yeah, I very much imagine this. Look, I can imagine this in the context of um, some kind of event. You know, you see a couple of these chairs and it's kind of like a gimmick and people sit down and battle each other in some game or whatever it is that they're up to. Uh, and I can imagine this being some sort of draw card something that makes you quite curious to approach it and, you know, have a bit of a play. I mean, Hans is not wrong. Like I would as well go have a sit in it. Like hundred percent. You said you're going to go have a sit in it. Whether you buy it or not is a completely different story, but you will have a sit in it. Uh, you might even pay two bucks to go sit in it. I don't know. Um, so I think I can imagine this at some sort of convention or, you know, some sort of gaming convention. Um, and yeah, it, it would be fun to have a, have a play around on it. You know, I can imagine this being at like, but look again, this is the thing I keep saying, like uh, someone who is a, a pro gamer will not use this thing, you know, like someone, so this is, I'm, I'm trying to think of what that market segment is for this, you know, so someone who's an amateur, you know, kind of guy is, you know, not going to, go for it. Someone who is an absolute pro and needs performance, needs to concentrate, needs to, you know, get those clicks per minute. Um, 
you know, actions per minute, sorry, I'm not a game, <laughs> I don't have the right terminology. Um, you know, it's not gonna go for this, you know, it's not functional enough. So it's like someone who is two or three steps down from that, you know, not at engaged at the level of a pro, but is also mentally a little bit, I don't know, a little bit different. <laughs> Um, you know, like a big kid, basically, you know, someone who's, who's got a bit of money to throw around uh, and someone who's looking for a bit of a laugh uh, w- w- would get something like this, I imagine. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to think of the personality type, you know, who this is targeted to. And uh, yeah, I know maybe Kim.com, <laughs> you know, like... <laughs> Um, something like that. <laughs> Someone like that might be interested in this. Um, but yeah, to be honest, I, I'm just blown away. <laughs> you know, I'm speechless. Chris, if, if I if I earn ten million dollars in the next year, I'll buy you five of these. <laughs> it's just gonna arrive at your door front. I'm not, I'm not gonna. <laughs> Where am I gonna put this? Look again. This is something that I was gonna talk about. Like context is everything. You know, and they show this thing in someone's living room. If you scroll down, Brian, they show this, um, you know, yeah, that image right there. Look how stupid that looks. <laughs> you know what I mean? This is just in someone's lounge somewhere in Asia because it's got old flooring, you know, and someone's curtains in the background. And this is how stupid it's going to look in your living room, you know? So uh, I, I don't think they're doing themselves any favors by showing it in this context, in this domestic context. Um, I would like to um, recommend um, a few upgrades for version two, though. <laughs> um, first of all, like very seriously, it needs some heating control on those um, on the uh, the seats. Like everything about this is ge- designed to like keep you in it, <laughs> right? It's even without the the automated you know, like the covers and stuff, it's, you're going to have to do a significant, you know, hip heist to, to get out of this thing. You know, everything is just designed to just keep you staying there. Um, so, and you're going to be, you know, entertained, you're going to get sweaty, you're going to, you know, adrenaline, all that stuff, you're going to get sweat and hot, you know? So I recommend first of all, some um, uh, cooling heating um, for, for the seat itself. Like that looks like um, kind of plasticky leather kind of stuff, which kind of, you know, I, I don't feel like it'd be nice to sit in in summer. Um, second, I'd like to recommend some RGB lighting. Um, I think that's a key feature that I don't know how they missed it, but um, I feel like this this really would benefit from some custom controlled RGB lighting that is interactive as well. Like it can have it doing very various animations. I think um, they'll be key for version two. Um, and uh, you don't have to pay me for, for these recommendations, by the way, like if, if someone out there is going to take it. Um, lastly, I would like a version with wheels so that you can have this out on the street. You know, I'd love to, I'd not like the, I would just love to see someone roll down the main street, you know, on one of these. <laughs> uh, using it as a vehicle while playing games and not giving a, a rat's ass about anything that's going on else. Or like even better, like in like a botanical gardens kind of situation, like in some park, that would be, a, that would be, that'd be fantastic. I'd, I'd just love to see that, you know, as, uh, uh, yeah, as, as a, you know, as a, <laughs> um, I don't know, maybe, maybe it's a time traveler thing. I don't know. So, yeah, that's the more I look at it, you know, I, I keep seeing things like how those claws at the front, they just slide forward. And if you imagine like a 70, 80 kilo person sitting in there and you have some wooden floors or you have some carpet, that's going to get destroyed, you know. Um, maybe that's the least of your worries when you have one of these things. <laughs> I, I take it back. It shouldn't have wheels. It's Those four legs should be longer and they should be multi-terrain use so it'll be more adaptable like you know be able to you know climb on boulders like some darpa you know darpa tech you know that's what we want that's what also with with the arms you can see how like they sort of got a little bit obsessed with symmetry there like the arm on the right is holding just a square block 
you know? I'm like, come on, man, you went to that much trouble to design this thing. And yet you kind of didn't really work out the, the right arm and how that can work. You know, so in terms of the actual design of things, like they, um, I think they stopped too early. They didn't iterate enough. What are you talking about, man? This, this has so much depth, right? This is, you see, you see those crab claws? You see that? I, I only noticed that like the fifth time I looked, you see the crab claws? That yeah, doesn't matter. Really that the first time. That really cool. is the attention to detail that, that, that these modern craftsmen have gone into. This is biomimicry at its highest application. Imagine, imagine you could, you could cut paper, you could hold, you know, you could hold cans of Coke, maybe. Um, yeah, I, yeah maybe, I, maybe it even, you know, has other, other functions that we're not even aware of. So I'd say, I'd say, what was it, three grand? 3.2 USD, so it's like... Absolute 60, bargain, 60. order it now. <laughs>